Okay, so, I did a bit of wandering around, and Beast isn't there anymore. But, there is something that is here, and... I don't think it's going anywhere unless we do something about it. And it's this level 4 thing over here that I kind of came across when I came out of this little hidey hole here. The thing is, it's level 4. It does have the thing weakened on it. Fane shares some lore with Scarvis. Okay, so at least if I examine something, I don't have to have, have the right person selected. Just to make sure I actually get something out of it, but... What is that thing on his face? Looks like a Chaos Rune or something from Warhammer, but... Let's see, his damage is at 50% and his strength is at minus 2. Now, having a look at this... He does seem to be like a regular fighter guy, but he's very resistant to poison. But he is very weak, so I think I can take him on. Thing is... Is what is he? Because he kind of... Walk a bit closer to him, and you know, if you don't mind, I'll. Oh. Through lips gummed with human gore, he turns to you with great effort, pain apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. You know, with it being 200% resistant to poison, and also the fact that it kind of looks like it, and it's eating people, I think this is actually undead. You, 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 quite lost. Quite lost, quite lost. Careful, or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> He's also completely batshit crazy. Now, a little query. Where grows the yarrow? Hmm? Hmm? Quickly now, for I haven't much time. I don't know what he means by yarrow. Um, I can't help you there, buddy. Maybe I unscrew your lid and poke about inside and set your memory straight. Would that please you? Can you not remember now? Um, I think I'm going to kill you. Where does the yarrow grow? Where? 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 I can't remember what the word yarrow means, but either way... Um... I don't know why I ran all the way back there, but I suppose that was... Helpful, I guess? Contamination? What the fuck? Oh, everyone's poisoned. Well, on the flip side of things, that really only affects one person. Also, Iphen has... Oh, he does have magic armor. Okay, well, he is poisoned, though. But you've basically just applied some healing to two of my party members, so... Well done, Migo. You're also an idiot, it seems, so... Let's get rid of some of that armor. Nice. So I'm not going to poison you, because I am quite sure that that's just going to help him, if anything. So, I tell you what, let's get a bit of distance here. Let's keep my, like, uh, keep my flimsy characters away from him, and let's just start chucking things his way. Of course, he's still got his, um, magic armor on, but it'll take time. Just damage out all this stuff we can. It's one of those things, I mean, if you have multiple characters to fight with, you get your people who do physical damage against one character and then everyone else against the other, but you know what. Let's just spread out what we can here. Now, you're the only one who's going to take damage here. In fact, if you move away, you're going to take an attack of opportunity, which is what that big circle around him means, so... You're going to have to stay here and just do what damage you can, so you've only got three action points. Uh, pin down isn't going to pin him down, though, because he's still got his armor on, so... That'll have to do, and... Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have given him a fire arrow, although I don't think it would have set him on fire either, so... Yeah, there we go. As for you... Um... He seems to be basically going to be doing physical damage, so... You know what? You're going to be taking damage anyway. Oh, wait, nope. That's my fire breath attack. Wrong button. So, let's fortify you so you've got some more armor. And other than that, I think... Three points. I'm just going to go stand next to you and hit you. That'll do for now, because now your armor's gone. But there's an attack of opportunity right there. Ooh! Whirlwind. Okay, that looked quite damaging. Of course he goes for the caster, doesn't he? Right, well, you're still fine. You still have armor on. It's a good thing I gave him the fortify, actually. And the Red Prince is fine, so that's good. Um, I can still hit you in the back from this distance, bear in mind. I'm not a polite man. 
Ah, he's now poisoned. Is that going to be beneficial to him or not? Now, I've only got two points left. So, if I walk next to him, it's actually not going to do anything. I'll tell you what, just to help other people, it's not going to do much for me, but... Oh, I actually can't... Oh, wait. Yeah, I can. I was going to say, couldn't get any necromancy off him. Oh, of course, bleeding is affected by physical. I was going to say, he's still got magic armor left, but yeah, okay, so necromancy doesn't really affect him there. As for you, I can't help but say that you're kind of not standing next to my allies, which means I'm going to fuck you up with everything I possibly can, so... Oh, do I not have my fire one on? No. Okay, poison and air. Well, there you go. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. Poison does actually help him. Okay, that's not good. However, he is standing in a lot of shit, so I'll take my fire arrows. Let's be careful here, because him being poisoned, he's slowly going to heal over time. And it's also cripple him as well. Oh, there goes all that damage I just gave back to him. Um, One left, you're not going to do anything, so there you go. As for you, what are we going to do with you? Can I knock him down without hurting my friend? Yes, I can. Let's knock him to the ground and... Yeah, we're actually hitting from here, so yeah, job done. That's a good bit of XP, a thousand XP, that's nice. Oh, and that lovely cat came back to say hello, that's nice of him. Alright, so, what did I just get? <gasps> oh, wow! Check that out! That's actually better than what I have here. What else is this? Oh, lovely. Restoration ring? Finally, I've got some in-combat healing for my people who aren't undead, but let's talk to my guys first. Dead man, creature, thing, lies in a heap on the beach. Um... I mean, there are undead people in my party, so yeah, he was actually kind of insane, so... Whatever it was, it was too dangerous to be allowed to live. Agreed. It had to die. You can't leave something like that alive. That might be what happens to sorcerers here. But I'm not hanging around to find out for sure. Yeah, agreed. Now, it's a good thing I actually have the right people in my group here. Like, I've been thinking of getting rid of Ivan, but personality-wise, he is a bit on, like, the... He's a bit more on the harsh side, if that makes any sense. Let's see what you've got here. Empty potion bottle, that's nice, because I can do something to that in a second. Heals 10%, that's also good. Gold, that's good. Do I actually have a cooking pot? I don't think I do, because you actually need that for crafting in the middle of nowhere. So we'll give that to the Red Prince, he can carry a lot. But also, I don't know if... hang on. Can I do it here? Uh, let's see if I can do some crafting right here, right now. Because if I can't, then I'll have to figure something out, but... I do have enough for a small potion here, so... Okay, I can make that anyway, that's fine. I think I still have, um... Yeah, I've still got the barrel left, this is going to last for quite a while. Um, I am going to... split this. I'm going to keep trying to share this out equally. See, that works just fine. Um, right, oh yeah, as for the items I just picked up... Uh, who's actually holding them? Well, first of all, the milk, that can go to... Uh, who doesn't have any food? Okay, the Red Prince doesn't have much food. I can give him that, just in case he needs it in an emergency. Um, right, the Ring of Restoration. I'm going to give that to Iphen. Sometimes Iphen doesn't actually have anything to do that's that great. Uh, I don't know how many action points Restoration is, but he can certainly heal himself and the tank if needed, so that's a good pick. Now, as for the big question, this armor I just picked up, that's probably going to go to the Red Prince, but let's just examine this for a moment. So, armor-wise, it is better. However, Hilda's Plate, which I currently have, that's the expensive one that I bought, gives extra HP, fire and earth resistance, flex 10% of melee damage back as a fire damage, which is pretty damn good. The only thing is, though, is that Migo's Breastplate can't actually go to anyone else other than the Red Prince. It also gives a strength bonus as well. Oh, hang on, it says requires level 4, so does that mean I can't wear it? I'm not level 4, I'm level 3, so... I'm not quite sure about this, hang on. 
Let's see. How does this affect my stats if I take it off? Well, he's getting the stats from it. That's for sure. So he's getting the effects from it, which is very important. But I can also pass this off to someone else. The question is, who is it going to be? So I'm thinking I'm probably going to give it to Scarbius, because for a start, it's one less magical armor, but one more physical armor. The thing is, is that the, what he's wearing right now gives him a bonus to his scoundrel stat, which is important for him, with him being a rogue. The thing is, is that in general, the Hilda's plate is just better. So I think I'm probably going to give this to Scarbius, and then this one could go to someone else. See, this also gives him plus one to his Huntsman stat, which again is important. You know, when I think about it, this may be a good upgrade to um, the actual defense, but seeing as these other ones have actual stat bonuses, yeah, I think maybe we've got an advantage here already, so I might just sell this, because bear in mind, it's actually worth a lot. Yeah, I think I'll sell this, actually. Wait, Fortify Scroll? When did I get a Fortify Scroll? Tell you what, let's give that to Ivan, seeing as he tends to have a lot of stuff where he's not really helping. So there you go, there's something for you to also do. But yeah, I can get some money out of that. In fact, saying that, who is my salesman? It is actually the Red Prince, so yeah, we'll, we'll sell it from you. That seems pretty good to me. Alright, so we got some interesting stuff there. What's in here? Oh, you got nothing. Alright, so let's go back to town. We're going to sell what we've got here, and then I'm going to go talk to some people. So if you're wondering what I was on about when I was saying I'm going to go talk to some people, basically, we still have this elf stuck in here, which means someone's doing some stealing around here, whether it's him or not. Someone's got to know something about it. Don't try anything funny around, Griff. I'm watching you. Um, I don't want any trouble. Good. On the plus side, I know that I'm apparently going towards the kitchen. Not that I can actually see any sort of kitchen anywhere nearby. Because this certainly isn't the kitchen right here. Let's go speak to some of these people. Like, I think there's some people here who we actually had trouble with earlier. Fingers curled rigidly at her sides. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Honestly, I really don't care what's up with her. And her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Okay, that sounds like a problem. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The grey veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. The hell? Hi. Who are you, some guy? Um, why are you acting weird? Oh, it's nothing really. It's just, I'm just a bit, well, a bit hospitable. So you're getting possessed. Um Put it like this. What are you doing here? You've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. I don't think you would, Mrs. But I'm a a roadside inn. Red door, flowers out front, friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Like a goddamn gold star inn for the disembodied. Yeah, what were you hosting now, earlier? Isn't that just the question of the hour? I can't be sure just yet. I'll be surprised if it's a demon. Definitely not a sprite either. Maybe a spectre, but I wouldn't bet money on it. So, how are you enjoying the joy? Uh, not at all. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll just tell the managers basically yeah, hold me in. Same story here. Reckon in my case, they might actually be right, though. So, you want to check this place out together? Strength and numbers and all that. Oh, so she's someone I could have had in my group. Um. I mean. This could be a replacement for Iphon, though. Thing is that she looks like she's a caster. As to what kind of caster, I don't know. So, I'm going to say. Sure. No, well, for now. You. Probably better for you in the end, anyway. I'm not always myself, and sometimes not myself is a bit uh, unpredictable. Anyway, see you around. Cause I already have enough magic in my party already. Or do I? Hmm. 
I don't know, maybe some ranged magic would be useful. I'll have to think about that some of the time. Bow your head, please. If we chant the endless prayer, the next divine will ascend. Um Where is the endless prayer? It isn't the words you speak, but rather that you speak them. Prophecy says that only our devotion will restore him to us. A murmur of prayer, constant as the ocean, can lure our saviour back to us. You know, that'd be nice. I hope so you're right. By the divine, so do I. If Bishop Alexander doesn't rise, I don't know who will protect us from this darkness. Isn't Bishop Alexander the one that Iphen wants to kill? Some blame the Voidwoken for Alexander's failure to ascend. If all we sorcerers can be cured, then the bishop shall be free to rise. So chant the endless prayer. Okay. See, here's the thing. Like, Beast had disappeared now because I said no to him. So hopefully she's going to stick around at least for a while. Now, these are the people who were causing trouble earlier. So, what do you know about this place? For their boots, as usual. They ought to keep out of our air if they don't want to pay for the pleasure. What do you mean by caveys? You know, elves, dwarfs. Lizards, undesirables. Those of them that would see the whole realm eaten up by the void woke before they change their ways. Okay. I saw what you did there. Convincing Burrow not to lay the law down on that elf. Why do you want to help one of them? I don't believe in the whole us and them thing. And you're in the wrong place. We run this joint. Griff's people. And we don't cozy up to oddballs. You know what? I would like to see someone else run this joint. So when it comes down to it, it's the Magisters. And I don't like them either. So, you're on my list, lady, of people I want to see rid of. This Griff person I do not like. Say what you will about the Bishop and the Hammer. They're the only ones looking after us now that the Divine is dead. Lovely. Right, I've spoken to those guys earlier when I first came in here. Let's go see what these people are up here. What are they up to? Oh. Well, Iphen. Um. Sure. Um. Well, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of going this way anyway. I want to go somewhere else. Iphen, what have you been up to, buddy? Come on. Hurry up! I know you got a bucket on your head, but come on. Right, these guys look like they're up to something. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the house. Um why do I get the feeling he's cheating? So no. No problem, Freshy. In that case, enjoy your stay. But I'll be needing to collect your internment fee first, of course. Oh, a fee. I think I know where this I'm is going. Sure the told you. No one gets along without paying the internment fee. So, let's make this easy. Empty your pockets. No, I spit on you. Literally. With pleasure. Yeah, I figured this would happen. But you're fucking with the wrong guy. You really are. Let's end this guy's existence right here, right now. He's more than half dead already. Oh dear. Unfortunately, we've got some uh, some armor that's covering that. Right. Let's make sure we're not standing on it, at least. Okay, right. It's actually on this table. There is some loot on this table. The reason why I'm saying that is because this is probably going to wreck the table. So, uh, you know what? Yeah, we can get you. Don't mind that. Now, by the looks of things, this isn't going to affect the table, but it is going to affect everyone else. So, there we go. What now? Necromancy. Interesting. But yeah, I'm immune to bleeding, so... Don't know what you had planned there. Yeah, let's make sure we're not standing on the fire. And then, what should we do next? Again, this is quite effective. So, oh, it's affecting the table. Hang on, wait. Now, there we go. Just gotta be careful where this goes. Right, there's a lot of people on fire right now, which is quite effective. So, the last point, let's buff some people on my team, and then we're good to go. 
Oh, you're setting me on fire, huh? Well, unfortunately you had no health left, so you're dead. What now? Well, as for you two, I have a shield that bounces between two. That'll do for now. Uh, let's see, 11 HP and... Okay, none of them have any magic health left. How are you doing, by the way, for health? Oh, you're okay for now, I think. I don't need to up my own health, so... Let's see... Oh, hang on, physical and physical. Yeah, they might not actually get knocked down by that, but what I might be able to do... You know what? Let's just go for the physical one, just in case. Because if it does enough damage, it will knock them over. There we go, that's what I wanted. Because now they're on the floor. Okay, he's dead on his turn. He's literally on fire. So... You go over here. And wait. Oh, that costs three. Okay, well. Just throw a knife on the floor then. There you go. Yeah, because he's dead. As for Fane, um... There's not really much for you to do over there. Uh... Scarbius might take damage on his turn, so you know what? Let's make sure there's some poison over there, just for him. And there we go. Oh, careful now, careful. Ow. Go stand on the... Oh, there's no poison on there yet. Of course, the poison's flammable, isn't it? Ow! Damn it. Right, so, these assholes, what have they got? Firestorm grenade stuff, healing potion, that's good. A firestorm grenade, that's also good. In fact, I think I already have one of those. Identifying glass, I believe I already have one of those, and I don't think I'm going to need any more. Money, I'll take it. Uh, gloves? I don't think anyone needs any good gloves. I think everyone's got something. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll take these anyway, just so I can sell them. Uh, as for you, what do you have? An empty flask. I might be able to put something in that later, because if you look, it's a similar icon to poison flask, so... Hold on to that. An axe! I have better stuff, but it's worth a fair amount. And gold. Oh, god damn it! I keep doing this, don't I? I keep having the wrong person selected, right. Thing is, my sales guy is actually the prince, so... You'll be crafting that. Uh, the prince can have that. That. And that. What's this? A healing potion. Prince has one. He's probably going to need the most anyway, so there's two. Does Iphon have one? He does have one, so that's okay. Let's keep it spread out. So yeah, so much for these guys, huh? Acting all smart just because they think they own the place. Well, let's have a quick save after that. And... Who's up here? Let's go say hello. Brother Bayer. I find myself in your so-called divine lands, yet I feel his absence deep in my heart all the same. Yeah, I'm not a child. No disrespect, eh? I'm used to calling all the divine's offspring that way. Absent though our father may be. Yeah, I think you're a bit lost. Over us all. Now here's the thing. Magisters are someone I'm going to have to kill eventually. Because... I can't just stick around this place all the time. And the only way I'm going to leave this town is if I eventually kill all the Magisters. And as you can see where I'm thinking, hang on, am I missing someone? Hang on a second, right. There's the Prince. Why is Fane all the way over there? How did he get there? What? That is incredibly strange, because he's still in the same party. How did he get there? All I did was... Go up here. Send us your children, your supplicants, and you divine. Did you just teleport my Fane all the way over here? Because if you did, you and I are going to have some words. That's weird. Right, well hang on. While I have an opportunity. This magister. You there? I'm looking for an inmate. He wears a large bronze ring with a dragon stamped into it. Name of Mego. Have you seen Um him? Why are you looking None for him? Your business inmate. 
find me if you hear of a me go. Otherwise, don't waste my time. Don't talk to me like that. Also, these guys aren't magisters. These ones are. You're far away from your friends right now. And I think that I can take you on. Oh, didn't like me, huh? Well, hang on. I'm going to make sure she's not too close to her friends here. I'm literally going to kill her when I get the opportunity. Thing is, I don't want to do it when she's round here. When she's back over near like, the basket area, that's fine. I mean, we're all waiting for you. Just move a bit away from your friends there. Because not only might she actually have some stuff that I might want to steal off of her. Hang on, I might be in her way here. I can't wait all day. As for this Migo person, I have no idea who she's talking about. I mean, the name kind of sounds familiar, but... Tell you what, let's wait until she moves to the right place, then we'll ambush her. Oh, fuck it, I'm doing it right now. Well, she hates me enough, and I'm fine with that. Right, so... Oh, no you don't. I'm a rogue, I'm good at that sort of stuff. Oh, of course, I don't have my, uh, my backlash, do we? Right. Let's do what we can here. Right, let's just shred her armor off. This will have to do for now. Because she's, of course, already buffed herself back to as far as she can go. And, of course, start, start taking her magic damage down. Oh, hang on. That is actually going to affect my friend, so there we go. Right, she's standing on some fire now, and she ain't gonna like that. It's both my team. We're all good to go. Um, there's no point doing that yet, or that. Just take a shot. Do some damage on her. Yeah, because you've got one point left, that's not really much else. Uh, I'll tell you what I will do. I'm gonna move you here, because you're gonna be moving now. I don't want my party all to be standing next to each other. Um... It's three action points to go over and actually hit you. Uh, Fortify is only one, though, so I'll tell you what. Let's toughen up Scarbius, since he's the other one who's next to it, and then go over and actually do the damage. Why would you walk in the actual fire when you do that? That's crazy. Ah, she's also getting reflected damage as well. I forgot about that. That's my new armor, isn't it? Um, now, if I actually go and backstab her next turn, I might actually end up in the fire, so I've got to be careful about that. But other than that, stab, stab, stab. That's a lot of damage. Um, She's going to attack of opportunity me if I move away, isn't she? Um, ah, my turn. As for you, you're actually fine over there. Uh, i tell you what. Let's just start working at the... Um, magic armor she's got before we do anything fancy. Uh, as for you, she actually has no physical armor anymore, which means I can't get anything extra from here, so let's just pin her down. Oh well, crippled, that'll do. Uh, I could potentially do something else. Restoration? Uh, no one else is taking damage right now, so I think we're good. Uh, blocked by magic armor. You know what? I don't think she really does magic damage, so... Yeah, now if I do this... Alright, it's going to fuck up all this guy's stuff here, so I don't want to bring too many people into this fight. So, that'll do, and that will do. In fact, she's going to die in her turn, I think, maybe? And if not, I'll make certain she dies now. Okay, it's one less Magister for me to deal with, and that's, you know, not stand in the fire. So yeah, everyone's going to regen from that. That was nice! One less Magister, the better. Right, what's she got for me? Air Essence, sure. A plate, that's actually... Yeah. As it says, useless but pretty. I'll sell that. Some money. Ooh, a Magister's key. Ooh, that could be useful later on. And a poison flask. I've got quite a few of those now. Alright. You know what else? There was another plate over here. That's an old plate. In fact, there's a poison flask that I missed that. I'll tell you what, identifying glass, I might as well take all of this stuff. Right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go sell this stuff, then I'm going to assess what to do with some of my Edge Magister problems, which are over here, so, be right back. Alright, so, let's have a look at what we've got here. There are two Magisters here, 
this guy, he might join in, but then again, he's basically the same situation as me. He's not one of the guards. The thing is, I don't know if there are any people who are actually, you know, on bribe or anything, but let's see. 24, 42, 97. 81, 42, 97. Okay, so you actually have comparatively less physical armor, so both Scarbius and Iphon can go for this one. So I tell you what, I mean you're going to teleport and actually backstab already, so what we're going to do is I'm literally just going to start attacking her until action begins. So I don't care. Really don't care. Combat is what we wanted. And of course she actually has no armor anymore. No physical armor anyway, so... Let's just say hello and do what we can. Because it's as I was saying before, I mean basically she has very little physical armor, so both Scarbis and the, the um, Red Prince, they both do physical damage. So they're going to go for her, however... These two both have the same amount of magic damage, which means I think this guy... Might get a bit of help from the Prince, but other than that... Let's see... Now that'll slow him down, which is good, but... Okay, the important thing is, it's not going to help anyone else actually join the combat, so... Put some fire down. I mean, that's... I know, it's not really doing much to her, but... That will do. Other than that, I think you're actually standing in a good place, so I'll end my turn there. So what's he doing? Oh, a firestorm grenade! Ooh, okay, right. You need some more magic armor, I'll say that much. But other than that... Uh, let's actually get out of that spot. Uh, right, let's buff my team. And let's also heal myself up. I think that's my turn, though, pretty much. Uh, let's also get rid of burning. He's got one point left. I mean... Okay, he can get fire next turn, but basically because that only does it for the turn, there's no point doing it now, because otherwise it'll be on cooldown. Uh, let's see, does anyone else need any buffing there? I think they're good to go. Uh, what I can do is regenerate myself. Oh, actually, hang on. Oh, I meant to cancel that. Okay, I've only got two points left, but if you actually look... I might be able to get both of these with this. Okay, right, that'll knock her down, not him. Uh, it's a good point though. Do I really want to do that? Like, he needs to take some magic damage at some point. Um, I'll tell you what, right, let's... Let's just do both. There we go. Like, she's on the floor, so she's... Gonna be dying soon. Wait, has she gained health somehow? Genuinely curious. Wait, hang on. What's up with me? Oh, I'm blinded. Accuracy minus 35. Okay, here's the thing. My accuracy may be low, but here's something. I have firestorm grenades as well. Oh, I can't throw them very far, right. Well, I'll tell you what, if I at least move a bit closer... Can I do it now? Can not actually get them both? You know what, there we go. Like, if I can't hit them with a attack, like swinging my dagger or anything, I can at least do something like that. So her turn is basically spent getting up. As for you, let's move out of the fire. And let's see... I can just do damage to him. That was a lot of damage right there, because I don't exactly know what he's resistant to, but he's taken a lot from that, so that's something. Oh, he's actually coming over to hurt me now, isn't he? Ooh... Okay, right, I know where Fortify is going next, but for now... Let's get some fire on my arrows. And then let's... Oh, I'll tell you what I can do, actually. Let's do my attack on her. Like, she still needs to go down, she's got no um, physical armor left. Other than that, so that's the end of my turn. And you... Uh, Fane has no fortification left. Well, has he got no physical armor, basically, so... Let's make sure he's going to be okay, and let's hurt these both. I mean, again, it's it's only magic damage going to him, but... 
That's a decent attack I have to at least hurt her a little bit because I can't actually get it from here. And I've got one point left. Really? Dragon's Blaze is only one? Hang on. Yeah, he's got no magic armor left, yeah. Might as well burn him. And it costs one action point anyway, so there we go. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm gonna... I can't do it yet. I can teleport behind her soon, but... See, apparently attacking her is three action points. I think it's because I'm not actually next to her. Or it doesn't count if we've been next to us. I'll tell you what. Let's do my ranged attack at least. And what can I do next? I've got three action points. I guess I must have gained action points from leveling up, so... I mean, hell, if I'm standing behind him, I might as well go for it. Not doing very much damage, though. Ooh, ricochet. Ouch. Also, it's a good thing I actually put the armor on him, because his armor's gone, which means... They just did a lot of damage to him. Uh, he's got no magical armor. Neither does she. Right, well, what am I going to do to him? Because getting rid of him is not going to be difficult, so tell you what. Let's just do my basic attack. Yeah, there we go, he's gone. That's my turn. And as for you, yeah, just continue doing a basic attack. That's actually going to be enough to do some decent damage to her. Oh, did I miss? Did I just miss? Oh. Either way, let's move a bit closer so we can actually make sure we can see her. Uh, as for you, it's going to make a lot more sense if I can actually move around a lot easier. So let's get rid of all of this fire. And use my other three action points to now go over and hit her, so I'm not going to catch fire on the way there. As for you, let's finish this off. And there we go, that's a ton of XP and less Magisters to deal with. Ooh, a knockdown arrow. Also, this is uh, something I noticed earlier when I was actually looking at stuff, so I was going to examine something, but when picking it up, I can just straight up give it to someone else. That's a lot better. Oh, and you've got nothing. Okay, well... Apart from that, we actually just cleared a lot of things out. Uh, Fane, there's something you need to do, which is... Put some poison on the floor for me. There we go, I'll top you up. Right, now, are there any of the Magisters out there who are all by themselves? Well, I can't actually see up here yet. But as far as I know, there's nothing up there. Right. I think I need to do another good search around the place and see if I can find anyone, but I think at the moment we're actually levelling ourselves up to possibly fight the guys we actually came across underneath the actual city. Way down. So yeah, maybe we should go and fight those guys.